Jam Boys, that shit kind of came about. Niggas was just throwing around the name for a few years, and Reek was saying the name and rhymes, and I was saying it, and it was actually a lifestyle before niggas actually even started doing real tracks. Reek did a drink called What It Is over over in the Mirror Beat, and uh, he had the first verse, I had the second verse, Dice had the third verse, and I, I think that was the point when it was like, yo, this shit could be kind of fucking tough, you know what I'm saying? If I had to describe what everybody brought to the table, I would say Reek brings a lot of experience, he brings a name, he brings a lot of credibility, and he brings like a, just a, a steady catalog of, of unwhack shit. Now he's kind of brings the, the generation after that. He's the backbone of a lot of songs because he just has this uncanny ability to translate that moment in time or whatever emotion is being conveyed into the hook, you know what I'm saying? And which which ends up driving the record. Porn, porn's the wild card. Porn is, porn is to do anything at any given time, say anything to any fucking body, regardless of how you feel about it. And if you have an issue with it, rap with him. Slim being from another region, he kind of breathes new life into the shit because a, 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 a lot of ways where we wouldn't take records with cadences or hooks or whatever the fuck, like he'll do that shit. And, and, and that nigga pulls it off, man. I don't think there's been a, a crew out of Philly like this shit, man. Honestly, since Tough Crew. And if Philly hip hop is the tree, and the roots are the roots, then the Jam Boys gotta be a motherfucking intricate fucking branch in the shit. Cause there's nothing else in the city going on like it.